In this video I'm just going to show you how to texture an object in Blender in preparation for exporting and then importing into Unity. So uh, start with your object that you've created here in Blender. Uh, in this case I just have a little bird bath or something similar. And I'm just going to apply two textures to it. I'm going to uh, apply a water texture on the inside and then a stone texture on the outside. So uh, first of all go into edit mode and we need to open up a second window. So in the top right hand corner you'll notice these little lines, diagonal lines. Just click on that and whoops, you should be able to drag out an extra window. And then I'm just going to close that um, menu bar down. So uh, on the right hand side I'm going to change from 3D view to UV image editor. And this is where the um, texture image will be appearing. So on the left hand side I'm just going to right click on the area that the water will appear and uh, just press U to bring up the UV mapping menu and select Smart UV Project then click OK and Blender will do this all for you you can see it has now opened up uh, or cut out that circle. Uh, next step is then just to open the image you want to apply as a texture there so I'm going to go to other try and find where I've kept this And there it is. And you notice it's come through, it's not no longer circular. So you can use a lot of the same keyboard shortcuts um, in Blender here. So if I press A, for example, that will select all the vertices uh, and all the lines. And then I can say press S for scale and scale on the x-axis until it's a bit more circular. Uh, you notice on the left hand side it doesn't appear, the texture doesn't appear. Um, I can change that though down the bottom here from solid mode to texture mode, and then I can see the water. And the good thing about that is if I come to the right and I grab my water as I move it around, you can see on the left hand side I'm getting instant feedback as to what's happening. So that's my first, first uh, texture. What I should do before I apply my next one though, as you notice I've still got that face selected, is to come over here to the menu. Let me just drag that out a bit. You can see that little sphere there, that's going to be a material, so if I click on that, Right now there are no materials applied to the shape and uh, we need to apply a material for each different texture we apply. So I'm just going to click on uh, plus and then new and down here I'll just name that one water. Do make sure you name them something uh, that makes sense so that you can easily find them in Unity later. Uh, and lastly I'm going to assign those faces to this material. Right, so now if we return to our left menu there, I'm just going to repeat the process now, but for the rest of my uh, bird bar, I'll press A to deselect everything, A to reselect all faces, but this time I'm just going to hold down Shift and right click on that water face because it's already been textured. So now I have every other face selected. Press U for UV mapping and Smart UV Project. Okay, and then on the right hand side you can see everything has been cut out a nice net of my shape. Uh, just go ahead and open up the stone texture. And over here on my left hand side you'll see that texture now applied. Now I'm not interested in doing a great job, I'm just going to uh, at least have a texture. Um, and again on the right hand side here I need to add another material, so I'll click on plus, new, and I'm going to call that stone and then I press assign to assign all those faces to that texture. Okay so that now is ready to be exported. So uh, we're just going to leave that right now and in the next video I'll show you how to export that um, and then import it into Unity.